On the way to Mysore from Bangalore in southern India is the historic fort city of Srirangapatna. You can get to Srirangapatna by train or by bus. I would recommend hiring a car with a driver. I went with my family and had a marvelous time. It took us about three hours on the Bangalore Mysore Highway to get to Srirangapatna. And that is with us stopping for a delicious South Indian breakfast. The Kamath Hotel in Ramnagar is highly recommended. In the 1700s, Srirangapatna was the capital of Tipu Sultan's kingdom, which is well known for being the last brave resistance against the British Empire. Within the walls of Srirangapatna is the Jamia Masjid. Built by Tipu Sultan in 1787, the mosque is still very much in use. Hiring a guide is recommended. We paid 250 rupees for hours. You'd have to remove your shoes to enter the mosque. The ground can get very hot, so wear socks. We're standing in front of the mosque that Tipu Sultan built. This mosque is called Jamia Masjid. Masjid meaning mosque in Urdu. And we're not allowed to take the camera inside. This building being um, a building by the Archaeological Survey of India. The walls were painted in tiger stripes, which was um, Tipu Sultan's symbol because he won a fight with tigers. But the British, after they uh, killed Tipu Sultan, in order to annihilate every single glorious thing about him, they whitewashed the entire mosque. Which is a sad thing because I'm sure it would have looked absolutely splendid in, in yellow and black stripes. Mahadev, our guide, took us to other historic places within the fort city. Like the place where Tipu Sultan was shot by the British. Even though the fort is not very well maintained, Srirangapatna is still a good place to be introduced to the mighty Tipu Sultan. <laughs>